This piece here, I think uh, a lot of people will agree that uh, it's the most devilish, devilish looking. We're really, really evil with the horns and fangs. But actually, this is the good guy. Is uh, to perform exorcism. Actually, the uh, the primitive mind is very simple. I mean, you are facing a, an evil spirit. So the logic is, if you are ugly, I'm uglier. If you're mean, I'm meaner. That's why it's to scare off the, this bad spirit. And this one here, you can see, uh, is a human-like creature, but it's got this tongue sticking out. And in between the legs, uh, there is an animal he's holding in this crouched position and he's riding a buffalo. So this is a sacrificial pole. They need to make sacrifices to the gods for whatever kind of many occasions, you know. Sometimes it's, uh, if it's a big occasion, they slaughter the buffalo. So they will tie the buffalo to this pole, slit its throat, let the blood drip into ground and this guy will sort of like to drink the blood. Not all tribal art is uh, scary or ugly or intimidating. Like in this case, you have this uh, Kayan Masian, the name of the tribe is Kayan. And this is their protective god. It is the sun god. You can see the phenol here. And uh, all this is actually the, uh, the hornbill bird. And the hornbill bird is a sacred, is a messenger of the god. And this is a human-like figure. It's not human, it's a god. That's why you can see the, the chin curls upwards to the mouth. And this image is to protect the entire village. They can also be found in the, the baby carriers. I'm an art and antique dealer. My father started the business in 1970, which makes us first and the oldest uh, running gallery, private gallery, I mean, in Malaysia. I stepped in in 1988. I started branching out into antiques in 1990. I had a deep liking for our own native art. As you can see here, this, this is our native art. It's all from um, Sarawak and Sabah. I'm like uh, Indiana Jones in Malaysia. I go to all these, all, all these Ulu places, Sarawak, Sabah, even Kalimantan. And nowadays, I'm running a lot like uh, to the outer islands to collect them on my own. I felt that uh, I had uh, a little bit of conscience on playing on my mind because I'm selling all this to foreigners. I would love to sell them to uh, local collectors in West Malaysia, but after 20 over years, I found none. And you would be surprised. Some foreigners, they tell me that they collect tribal art. I try to talk to these people and try to entice them to sell them back to me so that these things can come back to our home, home ground. A lot has already lost throughout the years. All these artifacts and antiques, it cannot continue forever. One day it will all run dry. So I'm trying to um, collect them before they totally disappear.